Oh God, I'm not, I am not I I I am not ready to do this pile of crap. So, welcome to my review of the Bye Bye Man. Oh God. Now, before we start this video, if you are uh, cursing or you're not a fan of cursing or you have little small children in the room. Turn this off and maybe turn and maybe just watch it later or have them leave the room because your boy is gonna He stole off with the scene in this movie The Bye Bye Man tells the story of the four dumbest college students I have ever seen in my life. Take on this demon or this curse titled, you guessed it, the Bye Bye Man. And if you keep thinking it, you keep saying it, or just do whatever the thing that's about him, the more powerful he becomes. People, it takes a really good, granted, a horrible, that, and, oh my god. It takes a really good, granted, of horrible to, to watch this pile of crap. This movie was filmed back in 2003, back in 2015, but it's like they just, they, it, it, I'm pretty sure they just put it on the shelf, shelf, sat it on their fat ass, and took away the R-rated verdict, R-rated, uh, cut, and just put a flat PG. PG-13 rating on it, as if it was, it, at this point, it's probably laughable that this movie is PG-13. What, I mean, like, you get a scene where, like, this one guy just shoots someone in the fucking chest and no blood whatsoever. The one and small praise I could give to this movie is that the opening scene is pretty decent. It sets you into the mood of the film. It's, it gets you an interest of what the story is pretends to have throughout the movie and there were a few there were only two jump scares but the one in the basement and the one the guy is just like dun 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 ass or bad shit literally everything else apart from like the two jump scares with might just get you started a little bit this movie is, isn't funny well it that is not even scary entertaining hell it's not even unintentionally funny at all i mean my god there's just so many problems with this entire movie i mean for starters you get this cgi dog which is probably one of the most awful cgi shit i have ever seen in my life it looks like the mortal kombat shit from the 1990s which made it into the movie also you get the scene in the library where this, our main character, I guess, looks up about the shit about the Bye Bye Man. And when he doesn't get it the first time, he searches it up, don't think it, don't say it, and just be like, Ooh, I got a match! And then this woman is like, gee, son, are, are, you, are you having trouble looking at some shit? And even though at this point of the movie, he's supposed to understand the curse and know how the hell he works, he looks just straight in the face. Like, literally looks her straight in the face, like, oh, I'm just, oh, I'm sorry, I'm trying to research the Bye Bye Man. It's really important that I look, research the Bye Bye Man. Do you know everything about the Bye Bye Man? I'm really trying to research the Bye Bye Man. I'm not even kidding, people. That's what he literally, well, that's a, literally what he does in this fucking movie. And at that point, everything starts to make even less sense. I mean, you get, a, like, a flashback of this one dude just spraying, don't think it, don't say it, all over the fucking, all over the set like an idiot. Which... I don't know how that's supposed to work if you don't think it don't say it. If you're, if you're, I mean, if this is, it's just like one name, the Bye Bye Man. Also, the main character, which I actually forgot, who I'm just gonna call him, Retard Number One, which he scribbles the Bye Bye, the Bye Bye Man every time he sees it, like, right? like you ain't supposed to read that shit. And at this point, elder other people start to understand the curse. And this seance chick, who was in the, uh, who wasn't in the opening scene but was in the flashback, tells this, our main character, to kill everyone else and then kill himself, which doesn't make any sense, considering, uh, excuse me, considering that he was gonna, considering that this cur the, the creature, I'll get to that later, the creature was gonna, the bye bye man was gonna kill them anyways. Which doesn't really make much sense, considering that he was gonna kill them, so he'd kill them first anyway. Even though he only killed like one person. 
I mean, what was the victory do there? What the hell did you win? He was gonna kill them, so you just killed them anyway. That makes no goddamn sense. Oh my god, this movie's fucking retarded. And on top of all that, why does the cre uh, why does the design of the Bible by man look like Gollum's human form? It doesn't even look it doesn't even look scary at all. He literally just comes at you, just pointing your bony finger in your face. Yeah, that's real scary, bud. And then, like, after the main character kills himself, after looking at this ugly motherfucker, the house just suddenly goes on fire. Why? Just cuz. I'm not even exaggerating. After watching this pile of shit, it's literally one of the, my least favorite horror movies I've ever seen, and it's one of my least favorite movies of all time. Like, oh my god, this was just awful, awful. This movie got a 19% on Rotten Tomatoes, and I know this is people's opinions, but dude, why did you like this movie? Why, why, why did you have to pick this movie? Why? What the fuck? January horror movies are never the bomb. They never will be. They never have been. And this movie is literally the description of, or just the definition of bad horror movies in January, or just bad horror movies in general. Do not see this movie, do not buy it from DVD, don't get a Blu-ray, don't see it on Prime or whatever the fuck it is on. Do not even see it at all. Unless you just want to put in the misery that I have to put in. I didn't see any of the trailers because I didn't know this movie, this movie fucking existed. I, 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 I am sorry if I'm cursing a lot, I'm just... Pissed off at this movie, at this movie's existence. Please, for the love of shit, please don't ever see this movie. Watch other reviewers on this movie. They, li I, they literally have the exact same opinion as I do on this pile of crap. This is the problem where like modern day horror movies do nowadays. They put out crappy movies like this that they know they're gonna be shit, so they just sat on them and think for a while. You know what? I'll, I'll, we'll, let's just put this movie in theaters just to have a couple thousand people to pay us IMAX ticket prices. Because we're fucking idiots and we love, love putting out shitty movies like this. The only reason why to stop this is just to stop seeing them. Okay? Just stop. Just stop. And one last thing to say about this movie, it can literally go fuck itself. I know this is the first bad movie I've seen, but I, I didn't think it was going to be this bad until I watched it for myself, and oh my god, it was like worse than ever. And by the way, guys, these are just my opinions. You can have your own opinions, but please tell me you did. I guys did actually didn't like this movie, because if you did, please, God, try and defend this movie down below. This will be fun. Anyways, I'm gonna go because I'm gonna I'm gonna wash my eyes out with something entertaining. Peace, biatch. Oh, and I forgot to mention, uh, the acting is ass. Like everyone, everyone's just in this cramp up space, like they're just hiding their shit in, in their little diapers. And one last thing to say about this movie: there's like a scene where they were just driving a car, and this and the main character noticed a bloody hammer. And then for some reason, even though our main character can't see it, this voodoo chick jumps out of the car, runs across the train station just to say random ass three uh, random ass people that aren't even real, and then just kills herself in the process. That is literally, and I, I'm not even kidding, that was probably the stupidest moment I have ever seen in my life. Anyways, don't, like I said before, don't rent this movie, don't buy it, don't see it, just don't even think about watching it please just watch other reviews that are probably way better than this fucking shit jesus i, I i'm i'm just pissed off i'm out